by bringing a piece of history to life. That's right, Barbara. More than 50 people gathered in Urbana City Building this morning to recite the farewell address Abraham Lincoln delivered when he left for Washington, D.C. It's all part of a nationwide attempt to break the current world record for the most people reading simultaneously. But those who attended say it's also an opportunity to be inspired by a man whose legacy continues to touch the lives of Americans every day. I recited uh, the farewell speech that Lincoln did while he was leaving Springfield. They're trying to break a world record by speaking the words of one of the nation's most famous presidents, a man with close connections to Champaign County. Because of Lincoln being a lawyer in the Eighth Circuit, which came um, through Urbana every year. None of us were around when Lincoln made those stops in Urbana, but by reciting his speeches, learning about his accomplishments, he was the president during the Civil War, and explaining his views to our children. <laughs> Many Illinois residents say they feel like they know Abe pretty well. Seems like a really nice man and uh, very uh, level-headed. He was unusually tall. There are stories that are in our downtown and that are in our residential neighborhoods that, oh, I think Lincoln, I, I heard that Lincoln's been to that house, and different stories like that which really... Um, they make him much more human and bring us into contact with him much more closely. Lincoln's voice has rested for 150 years, but his words still live on today. I wrote this note with haste and speed and left it here for four straight. They continue to move us, to inspire us, and to make us proud of the places we've come and the places we have yet to go. It's important to know our legacy, uh, and uh, Abraham Lincoln did a lot um, to actually make our lives happen, too. Now, Rebecca Bird says in order to count towards the world record, two witnesses had to take a head count and take photos to document the event. She says organizers won't know if they broke the world record for a couple of weeks. Reading events were also held at the Moultrie County Courthouse and the Museum of the Grand Prairie in Muhammad. And how do temperatures up around 50 south? <laughs>